what's in my bag tour here. Um, so let me just say real quick that this is my work bag, not my regular like weekend bag because um, I do like to lighten the bag. It's very heavy. And this is just what I use, you know, Monday through Friday because since I'm back and forth with work and usually running errands, um, I like to keep this one on hand. So the bag I'm currently using, which I really like, is just, um, it's an Ivanka Trump bag and it's um, actually held up pretty well. I was a little nervous about these little thin straps. Um, but man, they really hold up. It's pretty amazing. I've had it for several months now and I really like it. It's definitely scuffed up and worn now because, yeah, I beat it up throughout the week, but it works out okay. Um, so before I go into the contents, I just want to point this out real quick. This little um, key hanger here, I love this thing. This um, is so that your keys won't get lost in the Mary Poppins bag, as some people like to call it. So it just clips right onto the side and um, makes it really easy. Oh, especially when you get your nails done, you guys. So I went to get my nails done today, and you know when you're finished and you, I always mess them up. I don't know how, I swear I sit there and I let them dry, and for some reason, I can just never walk out of the salon without like a nick or something like that. So this makes it really easy though, when you're gonna get into your car to just take them off here. So I'll set those aside and um, I'll just give you guys like an overview of what is inside. This is actually a pretty large size bag and um, I do keep this organizer inside the bag which I purchased at the container store during their holiday sale. So it's actually pretty small and it still gives me a lot of room on the sides of the bag. I don't like stuff anything in there. The only things I have on the side are these two items which are just my earbuds for when you go running. If you guys haven't heard of these, they were invented by, I wanna say, it was somebody who ran the Iron, Iron Man, I wanna say, um, but they're specially designed to be guaranteed never to fall out. And they have this little, they're just kind of like funky shaped. I don't even know how to describe it here. I'll pull one out for you guys real quick. So yeah, so the shape is really distinct and different and it's like a twist lock, so you stick it in there and then you turn it and they don't fall out. I've never ever found headphones that don't fall out. So when I go um, running, I take these with me and I tend to go after work usually, which is why they're in here. But um, yeah, they're just amazing. So if you guys haven't checked these out, please do. They are amazing and they're gonna make your running life so much easier. I don't know, I just run better with music, so that's something important. Um, then I also just keep my glasses case here um, with my glasses. Um, I take them every day with me to work. I am totally blind. <laughs> um, so yeah, let's just be real here. So these are my glasses, they're Valentinos. Um, and I think it's about time to get some new ones, so I'm excited. I actually like shopping for glasses. I think it's a lot of fun. And you know, it's something you're gonna wear every day, so what the heck. Um, okay, so then in the rest of the bag, just on the outsides of the bag, I have a hand sanitizer, um, you know, for when you like go pump gas or something, you're just doorways or whatever you're touching. So just like a small one from Bath & Body Works. And I don't keep it on the actual handle. I know it has this little loop thing, that's, that's what it's supposed to be for. But I did that once, you guys, and it spilled. Like, I don't know what happened, but the cap came off. And, um... Yeah, so next thing I know at work, a girl pulls me over, like she just pulls me aside and she's like, why is your back all wet? And I was like, what? What are you talking about? I didn't even feel it, it was so funny. And the entire contents of this little bottle like this had like emptied out into my shirt and I didn't even feel it. And I had a meeting, which was great that she like stopped me, but yeah. So that's why I learned my lesson and now I keep it on the inside. I never ever keep it on the outside of the bag. And um, then in this little just pocket here, I keep some mints um, just on the go. And these are some really, really awesome mints um, that I got for graduation from the kids. They're so cute. They said it's to remind me of where I'm from. So I'm like, all right, that works out. And they're just adorable. So I keep those in there. I'll set them aside for now as well. In the big zipper, um, I keep what every girl keeps, just feminine products, you know, even if you're not like it's not that time for you. It's always good to keep an extra one on hand because there's always some poor girl in the bathroom who needs one, so that's good to keep in there. And then um, the other thing I keep in here is, uh, I don't know why, but I just do. I keep my USBs in here. Not all of them, but just, I like to have one on hand because 
I feel like throughout the day, okay. Oh, I have my mail key in here. This usually doesn't live there, but um, yeah, it's in there for now. Look at this cool keychain. Isn't this awesome? Just had to point that out. But yeah, okay, so um, then I keep USBs in here just in case I'm at work and I need to, you know, do something throughout the day, like run to the Photoshop or something. Um, but yeah, so I keep that in there. And then in this little organizer, the small one, this thing is the best thing ever. This one is by InBag, that's the brand. I struggled for a really long time finding which brand of these to use. I actually went to my go-to uh, Amazon and I ordered one on there that had a lot of good reviews. However, once I received it, I found that after a few weeks of using it, it really fell apart. It didn't hold up structurally to like my day-to-day -day use and it really was a bummer because it just it lost its shape completely. And this one on the other hand, it still has a really sturdy shape. It does have these zippers that you can open up to expand it and give it more room. I don't need that much room and frankly, you know, how much stuff do you actually have to carry with you? So you kind of want to not necessarily use it just because it's there, but you should try to pare down. So I do have that there, um, but I really like this. This one has held up great. So if you're looking for an in-bag organizer and you're not sure which one to use, um, go with this brand. This has been great. And they have different patterns and stuff so you guys can just look online. Um, what I keep in this bag, there's a front compartment and there's a back compartment. Um, what I like to do is in the back one, I like to slip my cell phone in here so that when I reach into my bag, I know exactly where I'm looking. I'm not reaching around everywhere um, blindly. I know exactly where to go. Uh, so that's what I like to slip in there, but it's charging right now, so I have it set aside. And then in this section here, I just like to keep my checkbook. I know, so old school, right? Like who keeps a checkbook with them anymore? Yeah, I do. So whatever. Um, you know, it's funny because I don't need it that often, I'll be honest, but it's come really in handy some like just random times that I have needed it and I have it or I'll need my bank account number or I actually have my bank account number memorized. I'm that much of a cycle, but like my routing number, I don't know that yet. So it's in there uh, if I ever needed it. And then in the um, it, on the inside, it has these two pockets on the back, two pockets on the front, and one on each side. And what I decided to do was I just stick my sunglasses in here, and they're facing toward the outside so that they don't get messed up. And then on this side, I just keep either makeup or, in this case, I have my little my little chapstick, my EOS, EOS, whatever you call it. I don't know. Um, this thing, I keep that in there, or. Um, it also has this little pen compartment here and I do like to keep a pen handy because you'll always need one so that's just a nice quick spot to reach for one and I know exactly where it is. Um, in the middle part I keep just three things. The first one is one of these thin little notebooks and I do keep a um, binder clip on it just so it doesn't like open up and get all messed up. But this is actually my budgeting book. I know. You know what? It works for me. Uh, I like to write things down. I'm a big just like write everything down. I hate doing stuff electronically and I hate doing it on my phone. If my phone dies or it loses charge or whatever, it's just a waste. I think that you need to be able to have things super accessible and I still like them. And I'm really into like office stuff and cute little notebooks and so whatever. It gives me an excuse to buy it. <laughs> um, but yeah, so this is my budget book and I just like, it's more like a... Um, Oh gosh, what would you call that back in the day? A ledger, that's what it was. When you did your like um, your your checking ledger, that's kind of how I use this little notebook. And it's just a line notebook, but I use it as my ledger. And then I also keep my agenda in here. So this is my planner. Um, currently, I'm just using a, um, I know everybody uses like the Erin Condren or what was the other one? There's another huge one everybody uses. This is a mint green brand and it's actually from it's from um, Walmart and okay so let me tell you before it was mint green it was green room and it was sold by Target which I love 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 their planners I thought they were so great I love the design we'll get into like the details of planners at some other point because that can get like crazy detailed um, but for now I wanted something that was the same as the green room eco planner that Target had and it looks like they changed their contract so they went with Walmart and they changed the name, but it's pretty much still the same planner. Um, with the exception that they left out the periodic table of the elements. 
I know it sounds lame, but I was actually really excited about that when I had my last planner. And then they took it out. So, yeah, super lame. But it actually works out okay. And so it's just like I just decorated it myself on the front because it was just plain. Um, and it has this uh, quote, Many are the plans in a person's heart, but it is the Lord's purpose that prevails. So, um, it's a Bible verse, sorry. And um, it's just good for your planner, actually, because, you know, we make a bajillion plans, but... I don't know, it just depends on your beliefs and uh, what's it to us, right? Um, so then I keep that in there. And then the other thing I keep is my wallet. Uh, currently I just have this guest wallet that I'm using. Um, it had the checkbook in it. This checkbook actually goes inside of it. But I felt like it made it too bulky for the center compartment and because I wasn't accessing it all the time, I decided to set that checkbook in the side and then just keep what I'm actually using all the time and reaching for. Uh, so that lives in the middle. And then we'll just go around the edges. So in the parameter of the edges, um, there are, like I said, the two pockets in the front and back. Um, what I do in the back is I keep uh, two items. So the first one is I keep my business card holder um, just so that they don't get damaged and wrinkled. I used to carry a few around with the rubber band super lame so I finally got professional and just picked up one of these and this was like um it was some weird Amazon thing that just happens on the random and I paid oh gosh it was I want to say it was like 10 cents or something crazy like that like I just couldn't believe it it was one of those add-on offers that they do and yeah it was insane and it's actually like metal and it's really nice I was really excited so I added that on. I wish I would have gotten more now, like looking back, but yeah, so that actually worked out really well. So that lives in here. And then the other thing that's in here is um, an address book. I know, like I said, this is so old school, but I still do this. And my reason for the address book is because if my phone dies and I'm stranded on the side of the road, uh, we don't memorize phone numbers the way we used to, which is really lame. I try to, you guys. I still, I think everybody should have at least your like top five you know, people that you contact or emergency people memorized by heart. So I'm working on that. That's actually a goal of mine. But for now, I do have them all written down. Not all my contacts, but just the ones that I know that I would need if there was an emergency so I could have that on hand. Um, so I do keep that in here. And then I keep in the back, I use it to store my, my photos of family. I think normally people like carry them in their wallet, but I just put them back here instead. Uh, so that's what lives there. And then on this side, I have my little like sack, I guess, um, where I keep my Bluetooth, uh, my Bluetooth headset because, you know, ever since they changed that rule where you can't, you have to drive hands free, I'm not going to risk getting pulled over. So I have my Bluetooth and I just don't want it to get damaged. I really like this. It's like a little stone. It's the Jabra stone and then it like, it charges your Bluetooth headset in the thing. And then this is what you actually wear. It's like the cutest thing. Only once I put it on, and I wanted it white, you guys, because once you put it on and it blends in with your hair and you're walking around the grocery store talking on this thing, people think you're a psycho, right? And so, um, I, you know, I figured this was at least a partial way to avoid that. Although I guess if they're walking on the other side, they still can't see it. But yeah, so this works out really nice. So I keep that on hand and charged because, like I said, I'm just, I'm in the car a lot, so... I don't want to risk getting a ticket because I have way better things to do with my money than give it to Uncle Sam. Um, okay, and then this side I keep a mirror. Um, this is just my little Mac laptop mirror. This thing is so funny. It's like a little Mac laptop. And actually, I'm not even a Mac fan. I don't like Mac computers, to be honest. That's just my opinion, so I know I'm going to get heat for that, but that's just me. But it's actually like shaped like a laptop it's kind of cute so I think I just liked it because of that not necessarily because of the logo but yeah so that lives here in the front um, I also keep um, some little um, oil cloths just because throughout the day you know just to like clean up your face and not be all shiny and gross and then I also keep tissues because you always need them for some reason or another or if there's like no napkins I, I don't know I always have to have napkins when I eat I'm like weird like that you would ask my brother. He always makes fun of me for it because I always have to have one like in my hand. I don't know what it is. I just, I hate stickiness. I don't like being sticky. So must, must, must have. And then um, on this side in the front, I keep 
um, purse hangers. So, okay, normally I don't have this many. I just, they just ended up in here, but I have, currently I have three. And let me tell you guys, I love these things, like, so much. Um, because when you're out and about, you know, you... Uh, don't want to set your your purse on the floor or your work bag, especially when you're at, it, it's a work thing because you you go to so many meetings and sometimes they're like meetings at an actual in a room with a conference table or sometimes you're out and you're eating somewhere doing a work meeting or something and I just don't want to risk it so I take a few um, I have mine like this is the one I usually use and then I have just an extra one in case someone next to me wants it I mean to borrow it or whatever I don't know um, this one I purchased at Ross and it was really inexpensive I just really like the um, the pearls and it's just so blingy um, however this is only for a table so this thing just sits like I'll show you guys it just sits right there and then you hang your bag on it but if you notice the way that the bag is, your bag is going to hang horizontal. And so what I like about this one, and this is why this one is my favorite, is because if you want to hang the bag vertically, you can. There's two ways to use this hanger. So you can put it like this. Sorry, this black part goes up there. So you can put it like that and it'll hang this way. Or you can put it, you can just twist this the opposite direction and hang it like that. And it'll hang... Uh, horizontally and then the other thing this hanger is good for is when you go to a bathroom stall that doesn't have the hook you can put this over the door and hang your bag as well whereas it would be way more difficult to do that with a hanger like this one in fact I don't know that that would hold over a door at all so um, yeah so this thing is really really awesome I had first seen them at the container store during Christmas time where they pull out like special products and then they were sold out immediately um, and so I went on this crazy hunt looking for it and I finally found it. I could not believe I found it. And the other cool thing is when I first saw it at the container store, it came in all these colors. You guys know I don't like color. I wanted a black one. So now um, they actually have a, a black one and they also offer a dark gray one. Um, so these are great. Um, they're a little more on the spendy side, so you are going to pay for it. But as much as you're going to use it, I mean, I think it's totally worth it. So it's not bad. It was like... It's 20 bucks, I want to say. It's 20 bucks, which some people, like I said, might think that's kind of expensive for this, but I think it's well worth the money and it makes my life super easy and it just keeps my bags nice and um, clean and off the floor. And when you think about how much money you spend on your bags sometimes, you guys, I you would want to protect it and take care of it and not be like putting it on the grimy floor. So um, an extra 20 bucks is worth it. And then this last one, this is one that I got at a baby shower. And it's really neat because it has, oh, baby shower, lie, it was a bridal shower, sorry. Um, it's neat because it has this magnetic part that keeps this part, like, attached. But then you just take it apart, and then, again, you put it on the edge of the table, and then you can hang your bag here. So these bag hangers also live in my bag in the front, where I know to reach for them really quick and easy, and they're all set. And that's it, you guys. That's everything that's in my bag. Um... So when I'm doing my weekend, um, I might do a different video for my weekend bag. But seriously, all it is is just me like pulling out the essentials from this bag and putting them into another smaller bag. Uh, when I do that, I actually don't move the organizer with me, like this organizer, because I don't need it because I'm not carrying around that many items. And frankly, my bag is so heavy during the week that I just... On the weekend, I'm just so lazy. I just don't want to carry around that much stuff. Unless I'm going somewhere where I'm going to have to be like working or meeting with someone or you know if I'm going somewhere else like usually then I'll I'll need like a tote bag or something but yeah so this just um goes all back in here makes it super easy um if you're looking for a way to get organized I definitely recommend getting some of these tools that I use um probably the biggest things the key hanger if you're going to get anything at all, get the key hanger, get the purse hook that I showed you guys, and get the in-bag organizer. And I swear it's going to make your life so much easier and you'll literally be able to be sitting in your front seat, reach to your back seat, and just know exactly where everything that you need is, not even by looking at it. I could totally do a blind test and find anything in my purse without looking just by um, feeling around. And I can tell people from far away, look inside the bag, in the back pocket, to the right side, like I, I know exactly where everything is. And um, 
yeah, so this thing changed my life. You guys gotta do that. Um, thanks so much for watching, guys. If you guys have a different way of organizing your bag, I would love to check it out. I'm always looking for new ideas. And um, if you do decide to get some of those items, let me know how it worked out for you guys. Um, I also, you know, like finding out about new products and things that I no don't know about. So if you guys have a new tip for me, please leave it down in the comments below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more so organized videos. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Bye.